What is inflammation? Inflammation is a very important part of our immune response. It is the body's attempt to heal itself after an injury. It helps us defend against foreign invaders such as viruses and bacteria and repair damaged tissue. Without inflammation, wounds would fester and infections could become deadly. Inflammation is often seen as redness, swelling, warmth, and sometimes pain and some immobility. You actually need some level of inflammation in your body to stay healthy. Now, there are two types of inflammation, acute and chronic inflammation. Acute inflammation happens after a cut or scrape in the skin, a sprained ankle, a sore throat. It is short term and the effects go away after a few days. Chronic inflammation, however, is systematic, often silently damaging your tissues. It can go on for years without you noticing until a disease such as heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer, or autoimmune disease like multiple sclerosis, ulcerative colitis, Crohn disease, or rheumatoid arthritis develops. Chronic inflammation can be the result of a malfunction, overreactive immune system, or it may be due to an underlying problem that your body is attempting to fight off. Many of these problems are actually due to an unhealthy nutrition lifestyle. The main underlying cause of chronic inflammation are excess weight, poor diet and dietary imbalances such as an imbalance of incision fatty acids, a sedentary lifestyle, no or very little exercise, an existing heart condition, hypertension or hyperglycemia, diabetes that is controlled poorly, long-term infections, gum disease, smoking, stress. Now, how do we put out the fire? If you want to reduce inflammation, eat fewer inflammatory foods and more anti-inflammatory foods. Base your diet on whole, nutrient-dense foods that contain antioxidants and avoid processed foods. Antioxidants work by reducing a free radicals. This reactive molecules are created as a natural product of your metabolism but can lead to inflammation when they are not held in check. Improve your hydration. Drink hydrogen rich water because it is the king of antioxidants. It would take five pounds of blueberries to get the same antioxidant benefit than from two glasses of hydrogen rich water. Minimize acidic and highly oxidative beverages like pop and sports drinks. Avoid pro-inflammatory foods. This includes processed food, fast food, sugary foods, sweets, soda, trans fats, fried foods, grains, and foods good with high temperatures. Boost your diet with anti-inflammatory foods. This includes green leafy vegetables, celery, beets, blueberries, pineapple, salmon, turmeric, and ginger. Incorporate movement into your daily routine. Exercise, when done regularly over a long term, decreases chronic inflammation. De-stress. Stress aggravates inflammation. Incorporate breathing awareness exercises and mindfulness techniques in your daily routines. Get plenty of rest. If you're not getting at least seven to eight hours of restful sleep at night, you are depriving your body of properly repairing and restoring. Supplement your diet with anti-inflammatory herbs such as turmeric. Research over the past half century have shown that curcumin, a component of turmeric, can moderate multiple signaling pathways. Extensive clinical trains over the past quarter century have shown some promising effects in patients with pro-inflammatory disease including cancer, cardiovascular disease, arthritis, Crohn's disease, ulcers, colitis, irritable bowel disease, tropical pancreatitis, peptic ulcer, gastric ulcer, psoriasis, diabetes, lupus, and renal condition, just to name a few. The bottom line, chronic inflammation is unhealthy and can lead to disease. In many cases, your diet and lifestyle drives inflammation, 
or makes it worse. You should aim to choose anti-inflammatory foods for optimal health and well-being, lowering your risk of disease and improving your quality of life.